Hey, a little tutorial on using Canva. If you don't know what Canva is, this is a spot where you can build your uh, pictures for all of your social media accounts. You can make ebooks, you can make uh, books for recipes. Heck, you can do all kinds of stuff. And Canva does have a free version that you can sign up for and use it. It's not quite as good as the pro version. Uh, but I'm going to supply you a link where you can log in, open your free account, and get started. So let's dive right on in. Go to Canva, which mine pops up because I use it all the time, and you're in. You would have to go in and create your own account. Uh, again, it's free, and after you open the account, you can log in with Facebook or Google, uh, no problem. But once you're inside, you see the front page, Design Anything all your designs uh, this holds all your information over here on the side uh, on the bottom you can see it's got youtube thumbnails presentations facebook posts posters graphics uh, you can type in here whatever you're trying to make if you want to make a, uh, a facebook let's say facebook it says for an ad for an app ad facebook cover uh, facebook event covers facebook posts does everything for Facebook. And if you see when I highlight over this with the mouse, with the cursor, it shows the size in, of pixels or the pixel size for each um, project that you're working on. So let's just say we're going to make a uh, Facebook post. Click on that and it gives you a bunch of designs that you can start with right here. And it does that with everything or if you would rather, you can start from home and you can come up to create a design right here, upper right hand side, click on that. And these are the ones that I make recently, but you can do custom dimensions. If you know exactly what size you need, uh, like a 1080 by 1920 uh, create design, and it will pop up and show this size right here. And it does that with anything and it will give you results that you can use a lot of free ones listed right here and if it's not free it will say pro on it so that's the second way you can do that <clears throat> go back to home um, and we'll just go right in here and do the Facebook post <clears throat> to say we like how this looks we'll open this up you can see on the basic template that when you hover over it everything starts highlighting and these are everything within like that's the text box that's the little overlay circle box the parentheses the basic picture in the back stays until you want to cover it up. But let's say this is the picture post, the Facebook post that you want to make. That's the size you need. You can come over here to templates, which is showing all the templates. And you just click on one. This is giving you the options, all six pages in here. Let's say we like working from home. Click on it and it pops right in. Then within your text box, you come in here and say, Working, let's see, you can change the whole text. I love working from home. Type that right in and you come up to the toolbar on top. You can change the font in that text box. And all you gotta do is click on it and the font changes. Find the type of font that you like to work with. That was kind of neat right there. Same thing with this text box. I like working from home with kids. How about we change that to without kids? That's kind of funny for me. You can take this picture out, move it right out of there, or leave it. You see a little purple line coming in? That's telling you that you are centered left and right, or it will tell you up and down. The little lines that come up are showing you exactly where you want to be so you can have everything lined up within. 
let's say that's all the changes you wanted to do. Or let's let's do this. If you want to uh, add an element onto this, all kinds of free elements. Let's say we want to put a happy face in. Put that right there. We'll just move it over. Shrink it down a little bit. Tilt it a little bit. Uh, maybe we want more text. We've got a header, subheading, and body text. Or you can just take this right off. And once that glow is in there, you double click that. You can uh, type in anything. Uh, it's a little too big for that, so we want to come over here to the text size, make it much smaller. Drag and drop it anywhere you want, just like that. When you're in, uh, let's see, let's say we want more text, and we want to do a subheading. It puts the box right in there, highlight it, take the text out. Say, with my dog. I don't know why that came to me, but it did. I like that. Get out of it. I can click on it again. You can move over without kids with my dog. That's that? That kind of funny. You can leave it like that. Let's say that's all finished. That's the post you want to have. Go up here to the top bar. Well, let's see. Let's go back to templates. I'm going to show you here, uploads. These are all pictures that I used in the past. You see, I have a lot of them in here. I make quite a few different things. A little dog picture. This is already saved for me, so I'll just grab that and it slides it right over. And I shrink it down and say, with my dog. I put a little picture of dog into there. You can see where this is very versatile. You can make darn near anything that you want. Before you start loading this up with pictures, what you want to do is if there's a picture that you want to use that's on your computer, go right here to upload image. You can drag it from Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, or Dropbox, or from your device itself. I just go into my picture files and we'll say, I've got one here, it's transparent for CBD. Uh, I can show you how to do transparent pictures also, but that would be a different video. Click on that, it drops right in. Oops, that one's not totally transparent here. I use that one on a white background. But you put that in there. If you don't like it, you can just delete it. I do have a transparent in here, I thought. Here's one. Here's the old uh, Dusecki's man. We'll put him in. Put him down in the corner. Pretty cute, eh? Isn't it? You can drag and drop everything into this system. Uh, you've got elements you can work with, which I kind of showed you. All kinds of free elements. You've got your text. You can even add music behind these. You can animate from here. Animate that post. Videos. You can add videos in here. This is all on the free account, folks. Put a different background in and you've got your folders you can create purchased likes when you are done you can up here on the upper right you can publish this publish this to facebook or use the drop down and you can download it or you use the download arrow right above here let's say we want to download you always want to drop this menu down you see you got jpegs pdfs PDF prints, MP4s, GIFs. I just normally use for my picture post a PNG. It's highlighted. You will download it. It's preparing the design. <clears throat> that pops up as a calendar, but you just close that up. And now on my computer, it pops up like this, where I can again save this. So I hate going around looking for them. I'll name this uh, Glow. I'll say that was working work from home. I want it in my picture file. Put it right there and save it. And it's done. 
And there you have it. That's so easy to use Canva to make any post you want. Now, let's say you have the same picture. Now that you have, you can go back over here, let's say, go to home. And you need a, um, let's say, LinkedIn. You need a LinkedIn banner. It always comes up sized already. We'll just take a blank one. Let's see, photos, uh, save, I did not save it in there. Folders, some purchase. Uh, oh, I don't know where I dropped my pictures in there. That, I don't know. Let's say you like these templates for a LinkedIn header. Same difference. Drop that template in. You like the backgrounds. This is three different pictures back here. You can change the text. Uh, you can take this out, delete it, put a different picture in. You may have some that you use already. Drop that right in there. Let's say you don't like the girl. You can take that out. You can put, use this little mask. Oh, that was by Canva. You see the little Canva and the crosses in it? That means it's Canva Pro. I don't use that. Let's just delete that out. Let's go back to my uploads. I use, uh, uh, let's just stick this picture over here. Drag it in. Wrap it right in there. Startup for any startups. Be startup for any startups. You can change the text, change the fonts, change the colors. I can show you that there. Highlight that, go up to your color. They've got pre-made colors. Just click on one, it changes the text. Or you can come up here and make your own color. And there you have it. That's how you change the text. Uh, you can take these, like you have your highlight, your text highlighted, position it, go backwards. You see it went backwards. I like this text, maybe go to a transparent, grab this little tab right there and you see how where it says four startups, how it disappears. You set the transparency. You can do that with any picture, text, uh, anything that you have in that file, you can make transparent. So many different tools using this and this is a totally free platform. There is the pro version, which is an upgrade. I don't use it myself, but it does have quite a bit more to offer for a very low price. Anyway, that's a basic tutorial on how to use Canva and how you can make your own graphic designs for your social media accounts. And I hope that was uh, insightful for you. And I add a little bit of value and I will see you all on the inside watching or listening to me on video or on my podcast. If you gained any knowledge, any skills, motivation, if that little switch in your mind flicked and you said, hey, I can do that too, then follow me, Brady Theodore, the Gotti. I would like to tell you that, hey, I'm just a guy 60 plus years old. Four years ago, I decided to learn some new skills and place myself in a position that I could have some financial freedom in my later years. Come to find out that with knowledge, I have done just that. I've learned that no matter what age you're at, if you put your mind to it, if you take the proper action and you follow the leaders, that anything is possible. Now, if you would like to see more of me, please go below, touch that link, Follow me at BradyTheodore.com. Thank you. God bless. And I'll see you on the inside.